in the past, this had been called Mechanicsville and then Penadequate. And people couldn't remember to mail something to Penadequate, and the people who lived here couldn't remember how to spell Penadequate. So in 1868, the name was changed to Bay Shore because we were on the shore of Great South Bay. And from that time, wealthy people from New York City and from Brooklyn came out here to summer. The first people who came were for hunting and fishing, and it became a summer resort. And as we got into the early teens, this became a place to make silent movies when Vitagraph Company came here in 1915-16. And they were shown right at our Carlton Opera House. And the extras were the people from the community, and they paid them very well to be extras. And then they could go to the Carlton Opera House on a Friday night and see themselves in the movies. It then became a mecca for shopping in the 1950s this was um, the jewel of the South Shore. It was the heart of the South Shore, it was called, for shopping. Mr. Entenman came here because of his son's health. We had many uh, beautiful pine trees here, and the pine uh, air is a purifier. And that was another reason why people came here. It was one of the healthiest places to be when you have a pine forest blowing. And they opened a little uh, shop on Main Street. It's just about one block east of here on Main Street. And after World War II, when the three Entenmann brothers returned from service in World War II, uh, Mrs. Entenmann uh, and the three boys decided to expand and build uh, the big factory. And then it, it was the largest home-baked factory in the world at that time. Actually, all through the years, we have had a diverse community, and all through the years, it has been an integrated community. The people of Bayshore work together. The residents work with the business people, with um, the schools. So it's really a partnership. Everyone is concerned about our community and doing our best, whatever we can do, to make it even better.